What's going on? Welcome to Was It Real? The Hills Rewatch. We're going to be discussing season one, episode one, new city, new drama, and episode two, a change of plans of the hills. Lauren has made the move to Hollywood and is rooming with Heidi. She takes on a demanding internship at Teen Vogue while she juggles being a student at FITM. When Lauren is tasked with working a Teen Vogue party, Heidi takes their friendship too far by crashing the event and makes a scene with her boyfriend, Jordan. Also, Heidi tries to find her place in LA and realizes fashion school isn't for her and lands her first job at Bolt House. Heidi is straight queen. These episodes. She literally crashed the party like that, huh? Yeah, she was Heidi. just like, yo, I'm going to go to the party and, and nobody can Whitney stop Whitney and I showed up too. She invited us. Well, no, but didn't she, Brian and Jordan also go? I think like, we all went we as all a went group. We all went together as a group. Yeah, but, yeah. but Lisa specifically told Lauren, do not let anybody sit at this table. And then now the girls crash. It wasted. Heidi got in a fight with Jordan. It was, you know, it was a little bit of a mess. But a little bit of a scene. But it was great let me, TV. But let me say something because it's, it, it really sucks when like, you really are expecting people to come to the club, like at, just at the club, let alone an event. And you have that table set up for someone and people go and sit at it and they start drinking from whatever there's there and they use the cups and they use the ice. Oh, yeah. And you got to go and redo it all over again when the person comes are in. Are you talking about me crashing the party? I was drinking your drink. Is, is this… Are you trying to tell me something? I think Frank? we've all crashed <laughs> I'm trying to tell you guys, stop, <laughs> you, stop sitting yeah. at a table that's not yours. You don't, are you trying to say something? you're not supposed to sit else? at that table, don't sit at it. Oh, okay. It's some yeah. club it's etiquette. It's club etiquette. Yeah, man. It's club <laughs> etiquette. Like, it's crazy to me to see these people just come in and crash parties. Or like, when like your friends come and I'm like, I didn't invite you tonight for a reason. And it's because I can't get everybody in tonight. Yeah. It's, if it's a big event. Well, in our defense, we didn't really know that we were crashing a party. We were just told where to be and what time, and we went in and we just had the best time. And things escalated, obviously. So you guys ruined Lauren's internship. You basically got Lauren almost fired because you guys wanted to party. Cool. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Good yeah. friends. Good friends, huh? Yeah. Good friends to have. <laughs> I mean, but Welcome after to Hollywood. I was actually invited to that party, <laughs> but then so I was there. We but I actually was the... stayed and like really stayed till the end of it and like hung out. So so I don't know free like booze. how that's much. Why. I don't know. There's blurred lines there. Yeah. We weren't kicked so. out or anything, but… I would kick you all out. You would? No, you wouldn't. Bye. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No. The girls. No, you guys would have stayed. <laughs> you guys would have come to my table. Yeah. Crash my table all the yeah. way. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Frankie. Let's oh, see. You guys are always invited, man. Um, yeah. So then Lauren had to deal with the aftermath. Oh. Yeah, poor yeah, Lauren, I did. feel like she's like, always dealing. I feel like on the show, she was always dealing with the aftermath. She was like the she mother was, hen. She was the mother <laughs> hen, that's for damn sure. What does that mean? It's like, like oh. the, she always like, she always… Poor Lauren. Well, and she always, we were always the bad ones or getting in trouble or doing the wrong thing. And she would always be the one telling us what we should do and what we didn't do right. And don't do this, do that. Don't hang out with them. Like she was the mother hen. Did she ever have to apologize to one of you guys? For something for being the mother hen? I don't think so. No, there was never like a like, oh man, I effed up. I don't think I, she ever apologized. She played a pretty. Did she? Yeah. No, she played a pretty. Uh, like clean. Yes. She, good Heidi's girl. over there saying like, I don't care about school. I'm dropping out of fit. I'm just go party. It's my dream job. Like I don't need to go to school. I said, like, why would I go to school? And I mean, I want to. But that, that is true. With, no, if, I know. If her was, career wasn't to be in 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 some type of like where you need to go to school. Fashion, then, yeah. then don't go to school. But. You know, she 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 chose a, a life of nightlife, which people think it's just fun. And you don't really know that until you really like kind of like start working for an event company or like a, a, a company that actually has… You actually have to do work and you actually have to figure out all the little stuff that goes behind the scenes to be able Bro, to throw it looks a party. Like an, it's a nightmare. I remember saying to you back in the night, you're like, this is… This looks like… It's not… It's not glamorous at all. Like having it's not, it, it's not glamorous until like when, every day, when, all day, text with people this, yeah, and the table and then this, Frankie and you got to be there every night, and you got to like, stay there till two a.m. Like, when do you actually leave? Like, the club closes. So at what, I, one I'm or not two? in operations because I don't like to like truly like deal with like whatever is going on with everybody else that's working there in that kind mm -hmm. of world. But I'm more in the in the world where like I have to make sure that the club stays relevant and make sure it's making money and making sure that the people that come, it's like. All like the, the right VIPs crowd. and everything, you know. So like for me, it's like um, I try to like make sure that it's 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 the cool place. But with that said, Heidi then thinks that she's going on the show, right? And I mean, not on the show on uh, on that 
job with Bullhouse and tries to go get it or is trying to get a job because she realizes that it's really cool to go. And it's fun. And, yeah, because she goes yeah. to that place, LAX, which was such a dramatic place. It, that mm-hmm. place caused so much drama in nightlife that people just have no idea. You guys remember Brent Bullhouse, like, yes. in all his nights? That was they were, like, spot yeah. to be. It was, so there was two nights. There, it, there was two things you could do in, in, in LA. You either went to the Alliance, which it was Josh Richmond and, and mm-hmm. Hartwell. And they had their army underneath. And then there was Bullhouse yeah, and his LAX army underneath. And, yeah. and each one… Which was the, Jen, Pantera, Sarah, all of like, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And, and, and they, they both… Um, were really good. So they they kind of like alternated nights. Like if yeah, if the Alliance had Friday nights, Bullhouse had the Saturday like, nights. Or Thursdays. And, or, or, yeah. Or, or yeah, Bullhouse had the, the main Thursday night mm-hmm. that you would go there. Then the Alliance would be like, yo, we just, we we have the Wednesday. And that was how the, that's how it worked. I used to do the Tuesday because nobody had a Tuesday. And I used to do the Tuesday. So that's how I did Element and it Element. became so popular. Then from Element, I went and opened um, like, area which you oh, guys yeah. always we shoot there and yeah. then i opened coco deville which was the tuesday night the pop in coco deville was incredible that was like when all of us would like it was in, it was incredible that was epic yeah and um so there was a lot of drama between the the nightlife world between mm-hmm. the alliance remember when pratt daddy got in that crazy fight right outside of element and just whoops we, him? we all did we all did <laughs> but oh i just God. remember spencer because like you know he Legend. grew up training his whole life and jujitsu and boxing and all this shit. like nobody really knew how tough spencer was you were with Kristen. you were leaving you you had Kristen with Dude, you and it, it was, was me, and, me and spencer had to like kind of like we're kind of getting jumped and like if TMZ would have existed, that would have been crazy. Oh, footage. Would have been that. Yeah, that was before like the big paparazzi yeah, scenes. It was. All that. So that was a Tuesday night right there. And um just a yeah. typical Tuesday, you know? Yeah, Hollywood. Lions versus Bolt House. And that's why the Wednesday at LAX was like such a like thing for me. Like, well, like if I went there, then the Alliance was gonna be like, oh, you go there, then stay over there. And then it was the same back back and forth. And it was like this is this so pre Ledu? This is pre Ledu, huh? Yeah, right, this pre, is yeah, pre Ledu. Yeah. It's pretty now that's, now that was yeah. the one. From there, then they go open Wednesday nights at Ledu, and then they take over the Wednesday. And then Friday was then. Friday and Wednesday. Friday Monday was, the was Joseph's. Do you guys remember that? Joseph's. Joseph's was, that was that Brad was Haas. God, we used oh, to I go out every so, no, no, so single bo- night of the week: Monday, Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, we did Thursday, too. Friday. I know. I think my old ass is getting anxiety just thinking <laughs> about that. Guys, Starkman ran the guys on Sunday night with the jazz night. You had to wear like your little coat, and it was. Really oh dope. yeah. Mondays was Joseph's and Bolt House used to do Mondays. Then they quit. And then me, Brandon Crawford, Pons, and another guy, we and started Casey the Monday. And Casey Keegan. Yeah. We started the Monday night party there. I remember and Michael that. Bull, sorry. <laughs> and then the Tuesday night was Element, which was just pretty much ran by me and um mm-hmm. my crew. Wednesdays was them too. So they were like battling it out, which was crazy because but those were the good old days. It's not like that anymore. They still don't speak to each other because of that. They, oh, jeez. Because he was like, yo, you're you're stepping on my night. This is my Wednesday night. Like, mm-hmm. you knew, like, I do Wednesdays. Yeah. Respect our nights. Like, we're… like It's kind of like… We're, yeah. we're competitors, but we still, like, have… Respect, respect each other and… And I guess he, they didn't take it lightly. So, they, they, they there was a lot of… That's what changed yeah, the game. Changed the whole game from there. Oh, man. Well, I mean, how long did Heidi work for Bolt House? I don't really know how long they worked for each other. But I remember that that's when she met Bolt House because she went to LAX. Mm-hmm. And she met him there. And then and she was like, I need a job at this. Yeah. Like, this is cool. This is fun. I mean, like, she would go to Vegas with them and yeah, everywhere. That's when we opened LAX Vegas. Yeah. Well, I know Lauren and Heidi were actually going to fit them in San Francisco. And that's how they met. So they were they moved to LA together. So yeah, they you, got, to you got all the you know juice. That? You got to tell oh, us. Oh, that's no. right. She, Adria, Lauren, you tell Laguna, us about the juice. Yeah. This is pre, <laughs> after this Laguna, is she, goes in, she goes in to, 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 to San school. Fran. And that's where she met Heidi. And they became best friends. And then oh, Heidi moved with her Heidi. back to LA to go to fit them here. Yeah, because they were and like then, best friends. Like yeah. Heidi and Lauren, you could tell. They like, really hit it off. They were just like, they were besties. Do you think that dropping out of school is a thing like for, is it bad? Hell no. I don't, do you have, I don't you can uh, I don't want to say you can always go back to school, kids. Um, I think it just depends like where your heart's at and what you want. And but when you're young, you change your mind a lot. I think if you don't know what you what your major is gonna be if you're not going to school for 
specific to be a doctor purpose, or, right? Like if you're just going to school to socialize and to do that, I think you could also be wasting time. I mean, yeah. if you get a head start, if you know what you want and the school, you know, going to school is just kind of socializing, then obviously. Yeah. Well, it, and now I, there's I ask a everyone lot of does school that, online. Yeah. Exactly. Well, well, now a, school is like obsolete. You don't even need to go to It's so different. It's, no, I, I ask no. a lot, just be a YouTube influencer. Just straight like, up. Just no, I ask a lot of my uh, of my friends that have kids. Like, just be an influencer. influencer. Dude, that's all you got to do. Thinking about it, right? If you have kids and uh, how am I going to feel as a dad? Like, oh, are you going to go to college? Like, let's say to Bella. And Be- Bella goes, no, daddy, I want... I'm not going to college. Like, I think I can do like something else without having to go to college. And I, who I went to college, and it was such a big deal to get in. Like, I mean, if you, yeah. you just, oh, I remember back in the day. If you rewind crazy. a little bit, just yeah. to, like watching movies from high school, like in it, most movies is like, I got accepted to this school, like, or like you're you're waiting for your envelope to come. And are like, I remember that. That does. That's just not part of yeah. life anymore, right? Things and have changed. It's like it's changed a lot. Yeah. And you got to pay all this money, and you, it's like, like you, you get know. indebted to like. I think one of my sister in laws still has to pay back her school, and I'm like, dude, like, yeah. What do you mean you're still paying? I off know. If you don't 10, know how to do years it, later, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I mean, you can just literally look up YouTube? anything on YouTube and just yeah. like. Find I mean, and like, there's specialty do do schools like, that you yeah. can go to. For how, how do you build a things? car? YouTube. <laughs> Paul Brody. <laughs> how do you? How do you just? Well, I think literally anything. How do when you? Lauren went to fit him, I remember Adam wanted to follow her in her journey going to fit him and coming to LA. Her fashion like journey going to LA and her friends and like living this new life. So that's how she. That's how the hills kind of started. God, I miss the I miss the days with no camera, cell phones. Like I when you just had Snake. Remember Nokia Snake? Oh just, yeah, the yeah, I used to Nokia be so phones. good at that shit. I just loved my sidekick. Phones. Yeah, the you just but no, but there wasn't only, even texting. It was just but it was like, like a better t- t- it was a Psychics. better t- AIM and you would text through AIM, right? Yeah, right. Or you had that a, came but it was after. just a better time because I feel like even when you went out, nobody was on their phones. Like if you got like the only reason why you would be on your phone is if you got a phone call or a text. You tell them where you're at and that's it, and then you go yeah. back to socializing. Everybody was so you go in the now moment. and everybody's glued to their well, phones. Yeah, looking you're like looking at whatever like like. I was saying this to my barber there because I was he kept seeing me like looking at my phone like every five seconds, like just putting it back on my phone and then like grabbing it again. He's like, yo, dude, you're addicted to your phone. I'm like, honestly, man, I, like I can't even like help it. Like I it's the same stuff that I'm looking at. It's not like nothing new happened in five minutes. I'm just going to my Instagram, like, like, like I'm I need to erase this app. I need to change Instagram. I just need, yeah. Well, I need it's to an get addiction it. now. It's just it's like, if, even if you don't addiction. have your phone, I reach for it in my pocket. And if I, I don't want, have I it, I want to live function. life. <laughs> yeah. I want to live life here now. And I want to f- enjoy my like relationships with this. I think, look at him right now. Look at his phone again. <laughs> Well, you it's guys are talking about the phone. I just saw my phone. I had to check. See, it's just I, I, I got a couple of missed texts. But it's just know, like, it's, I'm sure I have a hundred texts right now, right? Because oh, my, Mr. Popular. Yeah, let's count them. I <laughs> mean, if we, if people had this iPhones guy. and Instagram back then, there would be no secrets or anything 13. like from the show. Like true. people would, the paparazzi used to stand there and just film us filming a lunch scene and the producers would, they'd go yell at them and tell them to leave because they're ruining the scene. But imagine now I you're doing wish... that and you have actual, now people could film yeah. the scene that you're being filmed on. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, back in the day, single Brody would have liked Instagram. Good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> single Brody on the Hills would have liked Instagram. Can't get away with much anymore. <laughs> Come on. You know, hey, you're on Instagram. You're like, hey, let me see what's in my DM. You know what, man? I, we, we, I missed the whole boat of Let's Instagram and being in, and not being in it. Yeah, I mean, it's just back in the day, would you know, when you were… Yeah. Didn't you have MySpace? You had MySpace. Your yeah. top eight. But it's not the same thing. You have to have your computer to look at your MySpace top eight. True. I'm not… I'm, I, I, I didn't have my computer on me. Right, exactly. Went. You didn't have the social, yeah. the phone, the smart. I mean, it wasn't hard though. Raya, Raya would have been fun on the, you know, in the Hills days. All that Raya. Is, is crazy. Yeah. And I think also the world has I mean, evolved completely. Like, mm-hmm. it's just now like what you would think, like it's just everyone on, they're all under like underwear or bikinis like on Instagram and it's like they're Do you remember on Instagram when you, people would get like, you would get rousted 
if you post or posted a selfie or if somebody posted, it used to be just be like, oh, you show your landscapes or whatever you're trying yeah, to. If you posted, like you're like, artsy. oh, you're one of those. Now it's like every the girl king. is, oh, yeah. dude, every girl guy is just like That's shirt off, G string. Just, yeah, it's crazy. Like, there's, it's, there's no it's, mystery. There's no mystery. They're like, like, right candy. There. like, I wonder what that person looks like. Nick was like, oh, okay. just go on his, yeah, just go Do you want to tell the yeah. Candy G story? Oh, uh, no. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh my let's god! Go there. Just to clarify, we were not in the Candy G, Frank. You were. <laughs> clarify, a, we were. One of our friends. <laughs> we was, but that was out of line. It was different circumstance. Candy G, that kind of sounds fun. Candy G, Candy G's. I'll can go you buy get, I want to see right if you can get one. Like, of those I'm on sure you, they Hold have on. them. What's up, Jay? <laughs> Oh. I get my lady to put on little well, candy bring it, G. Well, bringing it back thing. to the episode, you guys. This was, I think, this is where I met. This is where I met Heidi. You mean Heidi first on this hot by the pool? Time by the pool. <laughs> Wait, do candy they really have G string it? for men edible? Look at Ooh. this. Wait a minute. Let me see this thing. Looks like a banana. I don't see no candy on these things. Oh, we got the candy G right here. Look at this. $14.57. Oh Wait, let's 14, see it. Candy G. 15 bucks. <laughs> candy Look at G. that thing, girl. No way. It's like a little, oh, it's Jared, a little right pouch. now, right here. Candy G. <laughs> candy G thing. It's a candy, candy G pouch. up here. Bro, look at that thing. Oh my God, I'm wearing that tonight. Oh my God. Dude, I'm buying one of these Wait, right Jen now. Wait, Jen would die. Candy she would be... She would, oh my bro, God. Like, it. babe, candy <laughs> G. Um, but like, honestly, like, I think that going back to like the episode and the fitum stuff, like, I realized like, BJ why Blast? There's a Heidi, There's a BJ Blast? BJ Blast? Brody over here, like... What is that? You got the BJ Blast. <laughs> the Brody Jenner Blast. Blast. Jenner Blast. Three, <laughs> dude, the BJ Blast at Green Apple 3-Pack. There you go. I'm about to get this thing. Damn. Amazon that one. <laughs> this was meant to be here. BJ Blast <laughs> will arrive tomorrow. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Um, Just before the weekend. <laughs> I think that's why people like 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 Heidi figured it out. She's yeah. like, yo, I'm gonna I'm I'm quitting this. It's not for me. I'm gonna go do this whole thing. Yeah. Well, and she, she knew like Fitum wasn't for her. She didn't want to be a fashion designer. That was Lauren's thing. And Lauren had a goal, and she was determined, and she like reached her dream and made it. You know. But Heidi was, hers was different. And when I met her at the pool, I just, I instantly connected with her because she was so outgoing and so friendly. And like, it was like an Insta friend. Like we instantly became like best Was that real? Well, so they had just moved in and they told both of us, you're not allowed to go to the pool or to the coffee area for two weeks. Did you know there was a a Heidi? Yes, but they lived on the other side and I lived on this side. So we avoided the pool for two weeks. And then on my lunch break, they set it up and I had to run home, get a bikini on and run down to the pool. And then I laid there and then Heidi came in and we met and then Lauren came in towards the end of it. And I met her too, which... Always in a bikini. Yeah. And that's how I met Heidi. And we like, I, she came over to my apartment all the time and we had the best time. We'd go out dancing and yeah, Heidi was so much fun. She Heidi still was ready is to fun. rage at that time. You I mean, tell. Well, oh my gosh. Me? Remember when we went to San Diego? That was the most oh, fun. Yeah. Was, oh my God. Lauren, Lauren was kind of like, no, you know, you know, she was kind of, you know, really. Lauren was, like, was a little oh, more. Oh, you're going to go to school and this. And Heidi's like, nah, I just want to go party and cruise. That's that on age. the show. Yeah, on the show. Oh, Wait, yeah, but, but, you know, in, but you but know in real life, we're talking about, but Lauren we're talking about what, is this real or fake? Fun. Lauren used to get blacked out. Oh, Lauren. She liked to party, dude. Oh, I remember. Nobody saw that side of her on the show, but we had the best time. And yeah, she, Lauren raged. Lauren she was partied. wild, too. She was. But she, yeah. There's she, a scene, I just, while, while I was watching the first episode, um, there's a scene where, like, when, the, when the, the, the thing comes on and she's doing this, like, dance move in the club. She was, dancing with, do this she was dancing with me <laughs> and we were at this club at, that we were filming, that they were filming and she's dancing with me and she's doing this whole move thing. Like, and, and I never in a million years thought that that would be where she, they got that like from, from where we were at. Because I, I never had seen like the... Why did they show thing. that she was dancing well, with Well, because she always does that she little was doing dance this move. move. There's like a move that she yeah. would do. I think we were dancing to Journey. Uh, the don't stop. Yeah, we'd believe always it. And 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 because that was like her song. She was always like, Frankie, make sure DJ yeah. plays this song. Yeah, everywhere we went, that song was. That hers, was a yeah. song that, that had to be played. And I remember that they cut me off. <laughs> Which <laughs> they're like, I'm like on the side. Just don't show this guy. Fucking shit. <laughs> 
Every yeah, Lauren was. Tell us how you really feel, Frankie. Lauren wasn't always a mother hen. Like she had a lot of fun oh, too and let to loose. Rage. I just think on the show she, she was more her, like her voice was always gone too. She always because she, she party. Yeah. yeah, she raged. She yeah. had a good time. Yeah, As she she deserved all that, man. She she really went all out. Frankie, let's see. Ready oh. for some fan calls? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> we're Frankie. probably gonna get a call from a couple of fans of Audrina and Brody because. Like I said, there's got to be a Frankie fan there. My, my, my <laughs> sister, one to bring, yeah, exactly. my wife, unless my wife or my it. mom or my sister are call calling. Yeah, you know. This question is for all three of you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you oh, had to film at clubs. Were there ever times where you would see a hot guy or a hot girl and want to ditch what you were supposed to do that episode and go talk to him or let him talk to you? And did it suck because it wasn't a normal night out? So you might have missed the opportunity to find someone great. Uh, it was epic. I'll say well, that. Like, it was so good because the hill, it just, when we were shooting we for didn't the show, really it attracted so many girls, <laughs> yeah. though. Like, well, and guys. And guys and girls. And they would all, so we'd come in, film the scenes that we needed to film. And then as soon as you'd be like, oh, I got to use the bathroom or go get a drink from the bar or whatever, where they weren't filming, you would just get swarmed. Because at that point, I think the show was doing really well. And, uh, yeah, I think that it, it was, was new to everybody to see us in a club it, together. It was, it was, well, and I think for us girls, Lauren and I, we didn't really care. We'd bring them over. And I think in one of we the all episodes, try to beat up. well, the guys would always get, you guys were so territorial. <laughs> we were, like, we were, very we were, protective. We were yeah. always so friendly and welcoming to your girls. Uh, I and mean, then anytime there's a new guy, it's like, who is this? <laughs> you want to like fight him. It's like, you guys, just calm down. Oh my <laughs> but we would just bring, I mean, Lauren made out with a lot of guys. Like, we'd bring them to what? the table. What? And like, wait a minute, wait, do you remember, wait, this is all on camera wait, at well, hold on. LAX area. Wait, 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 like, I want to say something. Uh, I want to say something. Back up. We when you guys fun. would bring the guys, I would always, you know how like the dog has to like pee on the table? Like, I would put my tequila what? on the table. Like, the, the dog the pees on the table? The dog pees for territory. Right. Oh my right? gosh. <laughs> on the so table. You would pee no, no. Tequila. I said I would throw oh. tequila oh. on the table. And oh. say, it's my table. Oh. Uh, I was wondering Get where you're going. I was yeah. wondering where you're going with this. You know what I mean? There, there's a lot of like scenes that show that that yes, there were a lot of people and they would come up and obviously they it's some of them just wanted to be on camera, but it's kind of like, okay, yeah, come on camera. We need hot guys or hot girls. And no, we don't. We'll we don't just need hot guys. Make it nope. Fun. Nope. You <laughs> never need a hot guy. <laughs> These guys are so possessive. Unnecessary. Uh, no, we completely. It was funny. We were, we were just protective of you guys. You know, yeah. you guys were like our sisters. So yeah, we, had to, we, we had to make sure that you know there was no. I mean, if, if we would have had cameras in Cabo. When uh, we all went yeah. and you guys oh wanted to talk God. to guys. God. Remember that? We would yes. not let you guys talk to those guys. And you guys escaped us and but, left to a yeah, boat. We escaped you oh guys a God, lot. Oh my God, I forgot about this. <laughs> He and you. and let me remind you, we took care of all the girls that came home, and then you that. would leave them, Allegedly. and we would have to drive them back to the Allegedly. hotel. Allegedly, this is not true. See, this is what's fake. This about. is what's this fake. Was fake. See, oh, it wasn't real. Uh, yeah. Your thing get, was real. Let's get Lauren on the phone. <laughs> our, our thing was fake. You know, I would love Lauren to come here to to make sure oh that she understands God. and let everybody know that. No, that Cabo trip was God. one of the best trips. And that was, no cameras were there. It was just no all cameras, of No cameras, just memories. God, yeah. That was, that was wild. I think, yeah. I think um, we were like, I think Brody was talking to some girl or something. And, what? And allegedly. 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 <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, or, or no, a girl was talking to Brody. Uh-huh. Okay, that's better. Okay. That's better. <laughs> and, um, and Lauren's like, let's, let, let's, um, let's, because he had this tattoo called uh, it's a Jenner it's my last name right yeah, it's not it's and, called, and, 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 I, it's, it's a Jenner my last, yeah, and, and, it's and, my last and she, name and she and we talked about it and we were like oh let's let's go over there and be like pretend like you're like a brody so we put oh, Lauren so you got here. the head, the tattoo on it, we put Lauren here and then uh, Lauren put Frankie here and we went over to you and we were like what's up <laughs> you were like what are you doing with that tattoo I'm like oh well this whole thing you copied you want to look like Jesus. me. We started like giving me shit. I think I have a picture of that too. So we'll put it in here. We'll input. Do you really though? I no, think so. you don't. There's no way. Frankie, how did you get all these photos? Yeah. Like I just always documented our life. With the, the little cameras the little we brought cameras. around. Yeah. <laughs> the little, I know, the little. Yeah. That's why I have that picture of Brody and Talon cuddling in Miami. 
You don't have this picture. That is a bunch of oh shit. Put it up on the screen. If you it's got a, it, if I have it, we'll put it up. Put it up. You don't have it. Guaranteed. I will put 100%. money. I'll put money. Okay, I will Class go. Azul, What's the Class bet? Azul black bottle. Oh, ooh, ooh. if you can find that photo, guarantee that thing's Done. not. That's guys. Oh, man, guys. now he's on a mission. Beautiful picture it, right here. I'll be bringing the Class Azul black, <laughs> whatever it's called. I dude. like it. You like that? Good yep. Idea. Don't tempt me with a good time. Hey guys, thanks for doing this podcast. Um, I'm wondering if Lauren got the job at Teen Vogue on her own or if that was something the show helped her out with. Watching her interview with Lisa Love, um, it sort of seemed like this interview and this job was set up for her. And um, especially after letting Heidi and everyone else into uh, the party, it kind of seemed like she would be fired after that and she wasn't. So I was wondering if the if the show helped her out with that job. I, almost... I would say that, I mean, I think that anything at that time, reality television wise, anything that was on MTV would have been good for Teen Vogue. And I think that obviously that, I don't know if it was set up, but I think, I mean, you why, might, why would you not that, want, but I don't, yeah. exactly, but I don't think that Teen Vogue was opposed to having the exposure to Teen Vogue on MTV. It's a different audience, better, dem- I mean, just a different yeah. demographic than what Teen Vogue was got on. And there was definitely better better treatment of Lauren and she could have more strikes than other people for that one. For sure. Yeah. Right? Because <laughs> sure. it's like, oh, you're gonna well, fire me. I'm gonna take my show on MTV. I don't think it I don't I don't think it was entirely set up, but like you said, I think with cameras, we got a lot of leeway to do a lot of things that we normally wouldn't be able to do without the cameras. For sure. Yep. So we used them to our yeah, advantage. She, any <laughs> other girl would have gotten fired for letting all her blacked out friends in to sit at the table. <laughs> and Lauren just got a little slap on the wrist. 100%. Yeah. Um, next question. Hi, my name is Danielle from Tampa, Florida. And my question is, what did Lauren really think of Heidi's job at Bull House? Did she really hang up on her? I don't really know. Wonder- I, don't, I don't know that question, what honestly. Did, what, what did she... Did- what did Lauren think of Heidi's job at Bolt House? Did she really I think, hang up on her? I mean, well, it was in the episode. Adrena, come on. It's, I know, I missed that I mean, scene. The, if oh, you watch Adrena. the episode, Adrena, you're like, here's a monster. You might remember. I missed that one. <laughs> no, she didn't like it because she wants her to go to school. Right. She yeah. was kind of thinking like, oh, look, you know, you should be going to fit them. You should be going to school and you shouldn't just be. Well, yeah, that's the mother hen of Lauren again. Right. Like always playing that like older sister, like good friend, like this is what you need to do you know giving her trying to give her good advice and direction but Heidi's Heidi's Heidi and she's going to do what she wants so you just have to accept her for who she is and let her live her life hey guys I love that you're doing this podcast my question is how often did Heidi and Jordan fight it seems like it happened a lot well, makeup sex is fun, you know. That's that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it just seemed like they were in that. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I just knew that whenever there was a th- uh, any fight, Heidi would be with me at the club. She'd go out with me, and the girls all would come with me. Yeah, but she, it wasn't on the show. That was wasn't. It seems on the like show. He- Heidi was the boss. Well, she would usually so come much. to my apartment, and then we would go out. You guys would come. Like, yeah, we're going like, out. Like we're coming out, Frankie. Yeah, I have the tequila ready. It seemed like Heidi was but, just waiting for Spencer. You could tell. Like, Heidi did not. She, she seemed like Heidi. The boss he, that, right? Heidi was, always knew she wanted a Spencer. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's what mm-hmm. it's like. She was. She was the boss in that relationship. Yeah, I wasn't. I don't remember them fighting too much, but. I know they did behind closed doors, and I didn't know Jordan that well either. I just supported Heidi. Do you so. still talk to Jordan, Frank? Right? I see him. Like, I mean, he's he's, he's, the kind of, he's the kind of guy that on my actual birthday hits me up. I called your. Are you talking about me? I oh, now you. you're gonna come out. The kind of friend oh, that posts. Guy. If you don't post me on Instagram, man, it, it's like it never happened. Just so you oh, know, I texted oh, you. Are you one of those? That's the you're new. That, the... We're we're in two thousand. 22, man. <laughs> you had to think about that. I have to think about that. <laughs> because I feel like we're in 2006 right now. But we're in 2022, man. And if you don't post me on Instagram, that means it didn't happen. All your friends post you on your birthday and you feel loved. Yes or no? 
I don't know. I don't check Instagram on my birthday. Come to be on. honest, I just I I, I go and I yes, enjoy my Brody, birthday. Brody, I bet you have go some about, good photos of Frankie and you from back in the day. I mean, some epic photos we have. I mean, that was like five phones ago. Shit, I lost <laughs> all those. Damn. <laughs> the cloud didn't exist then, Frankie. Listen, they're all Brody's they're a great friend, and he's had. He I'm has, the kind of friend that doesn't need to post on my story. I, exactly. <laughs> like I, I, I've always given him. I've always given him a lot of like passes because. You got you to gotta know who your friends are. And, he, and he's my friend that if I ever called him and I needed him yeah, for anything, he'd be there. But when it comes to my birthday, he's always been like up and down, never shows up or not. And well, you know how it is. Like, I don't get an alert on my phone on a birthday and everybody's living their life. And unless you, the, the, and you live in Hollywood, I live in Malibu. There's I got type my of friends Malibu that know life. when your birthday is and there's type of friends that He'll don't. He'll make it up. That's like Frankie. saying, you know, do you remember people's <laughs> phone numbers now? I don't 100%. remember that. I don't. What's mine? What's my number? 31, if I say your Look, number, you're going to have to change you it. You've been through some How about this? Too. I'll give you four. Let's hear. I'm not going to say it out loud. Oh, oh yeah. If I say it out loud, can I keep it? Okay. What's my last phone? What was that? No, can I keep it? Dude, what? Can I keep the, the number if I say your number right now? No, hell no. Sure. Remember when I you did that to somebody? Who was it? You posted somebody's number on your, I didn't on, on your Twitter or something and then it like blew their phone up. Oh, I blew them out. Yeah, because they were prank calling me or something like that. And yeah. then I posted their number on Twitter and said oh, that this guy I've was prank calling too. me. And then it just like… And the kid… Oh no, it ended up being like a little kid. And his par- and his phone bill got racked up so high that his parents found out. Then his parents called me and apologized for him because he had been prank calling me. Forgot about that, Frankie. Thanks yeah. for jarring the, the memory. See, the memory, we all need each other is, for these memories. <laughs> we gotta like balance out our memories. <laughs> oh, you guys, are you guys that, ready? I think it's mamita time. But Frankie, it is mamita's time, and it's ma- my ma- confession ma- corner where I ask a question that's gonna be very awkward. Oh, yeah. And oh, my sure. fellow cast members will have to take a shot. No if, matter what. If Well, hold on. If you don't want to answer, you take a shot. And if you okay. answer, you take a shot. So, oh, okay. you take a shot. So, you take a shot. <laughs> you take a shot. So, this is Frankie's confession corner. Take a shot. Yep. Here's my question, Audrina. Oh, thank God. It's not me. <sighs> Today's for Audrina. Well, <laughs> oh, it's, you're gosh. not on the episode yet. Yeah, wait wait till you're on the episode. Yeah. Every oh, question is going to be to you. Okay. Oh, shit. Um… When you were, right, you were there and you were like, did you feel any sort of like, why isn't this show more about me? Like, why isn't this show like, they're, they're showing the girls and they're like, it's Lauren and Heidi. And, and you might have been like, probably, the, the, you, you were like the rocker girl, like kind of like type of girl that, that you weren't like us. Yeah, like, I was very different than Lauren and Heidi. Like I had a different crowd, different interests. Did you feel… But- like the odd one out at some point? I mean, no, I never, it wasn't my show. This whole reality thing was so new to me. And I was so, I was treading lightly and I wasn't, I had to like warm up to it to really open up and talk about certain things or be willing to do things. Um, But Lauren and Heidi were like these cute, bubbly little blondes that were like besties and, you know, um, and, and we Whitney all had too. fun. And Whit- yeah, Whitney came in too, but she never really hung out with us that much. But she was still cool. I mean, it was nice that we all came together and we were all so different in our own ways. I also feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, but also not having the pressure of carrying the show yeah, must have been nice yes. too. Because like, when you have to do all the narration, oh, yeah. when, you ha- when you're the main character Bro of the show… you have to do Bro all that for us. It's… And it's, it's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's a lot. So like being able to get paid great money, work, come in and out, not have the all the storyline focused on you. I mean… It was kind of nice. It's kind of like, nice. It yeah. is, it's, I mean, Lauren did a, an amazing job just right. carrying the show. And like, you know, her one-liners were always the best and like, she you know, spot one-liners. on. She was always like right on the… Yeah. Yeah. She right was. on target. Yeah. So I uh, know I enjoyed being a part of it, but I never wanted to be like the main one. I, I'm just, I, I, I think that that show really like made me and Brody, like we, 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 we literally became like all over, I mean, on the magazines and stuff, like we were bromance. We were like the, the, the definition of like people would hit us up, like, yo, dude, what you and him have, like, it's crazy, like how, like, I want to have my best, or like, they would tag us like their best friends and they would be like, like this is me and Brody or me, Frankie and Brody. Like yeah. the version of like… We had some fun. Uh, 
everywhere yeah, else. Yeah, it was we, great to have those dynamics that everybody could relate to all of us in a certain way. And that's why this show is such a hit. We had a one-two punch for, for a long time, man. It was… It was… Me… I, I will never regret the show because it made that happen for us. Yeah. Yep. Aw. Yeah. I love you. You're so I cute. I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. Follow, rate, and review Was It Real? The Hills Rewatch wherever you guys listen to your podcast. And if you like to watch us, go check us out on YouTube. Thanks for listening. Let's go. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to start with the pilot episode and catch all of our episode recaps.